Welcome to class programming and problem solving. We are discussing unit 5 object oriented programming. In which we are learning implementation of object oriented programming features in Python. Let's have a recap of features of object oriented programming class, object, methods, inheritance, polymorphism, data encapsulation, and data hiding. Today we will discuss last feature of object oriented programming data abstraction and encapsulation data encapsulation and data hiding actually a data abstraction is going to give details of only requires and the actual implementation is hidden from the user let's take an example of tv set where we, it is possible for us to switch off tv switch on tv change the channels, increase the volume, um, decrease the volume. So it is possible for us to complete or to execute these functions easily but we don't know how these functions or this technology is implemented at the background. So this is data abstraction. For example television DVD player we can do these functions very easily but we don't know the implementation details. In data encapsulation or in data hiding, the class data is packed together and hidden from outside access. Remember though we are declaring class, we can access data of class outside class by using class name or by using object name. But in data encapsulation, we can put control on this. We can put control in a way that data cannot be taken outside class. So this can be done by defining data private, public and protected. So public and protected data can be easily accessible outside class whereas private data cannot be accessible outside class. So let's take an example. So class hiding here I am declaring three variables a equal to 100, underscore b equal to 100 and double underscore c equal to 300. So in this case one more function I am declaring define underscore display self in which I am trying to print I am protected function and one more function define output cell in which I am trying to print I am a private function. So in this complete program this simple variable a equal to 100 is public this underscore b single underscore and the name it is protected variable and two underscore and name is a private variable. So this a and b are accessible outside class but this double underscore c is not accessible outside class as it is a private data of class so in the same case it is starting with single underscore it is a protected function or protected method it is starting with two underscore it means it is a private method or private function remember the constructor we are writing in python starts with double underscore so constructor function is always a private function let's have some look on the practical, I am using sublime text for practicals. So, we will have same example class hiding. Now, in a class, I am defining some members. So, when I define member with say num1 is equal to 100, this is called public variable in class. When I am defining underscore num2 remember i have written single underscore 200 this is called protected variable in class and when i am defining underscore underscore num3 equal to 300 this is called private variable in class i can define methods as well like public and private so df underscore display okay, this is print rm protected method of class in the same way i can define one private method underscore underscore show remember these two methods are class methods because i have not written any argument having name self rm private method of class now let's try to print these variables and try to call these methods outside class. Now 
in a simple way we can print these variables because these variables are shared with class and object no need to define object to access this data so i can write say print num1 let's check what happens over here uh, probably there are certain errors name num1 is not defined so the reason here num1 is a member of class hiding so we cannot write num1 in this way outside class we need to write class name or object name so i am writing hiding dot now we are trying to print num1 of class hiding so control b here we are getting 100 so 100 is a value of num1 we have given this value to num1 now we will try to print hiding dot num2 control b sorry uh, our protected member is starting with underscore num2 so it's possible it is not only num2 it is underscore num2 so protected members are also accessible outside class now go on to print hiding dot underscore underscore num3 now see what happens control b there is one error type object hiding has no attribute double underscore num3 but it has so it is proved that private members are not accessible outside class you, know, you can call methods as well uh, i can call say hiding dot underscore display and see there is uh, again there is a error for this line so we will eliminate this line and we will run so you see this method is called i am a protected method of class but you cannot call private method outside class hiding underscore underscore show yes. now show is a method in a class it starts with two underscore control b there is an error what error type object hiding has no attribute show so remember if you want to protect your data from the outsiders then you need to define it as a private so defining private data is simple you need to start that name with two underscore and then write variable name so underscore underscore num3 is a private variable underscore num2 is a protected variable and num1 is a public variable there is a possible possibility to access this private variable outside class but in some different way we need to write it in a different way uh, see it is called mangling of name means uh, not directly writing underscore underscore num3 will uh, give you that output instead we need to follow some different strategy so here we will see accessing private data outside class so define one object for that so h is equal to hiding so we have defined object for class hiding and then print h dot underscore hiding underscore underscore num3 and see the output 300 so first print printed 100 second print printed 200 and see this line printed 300 but to access private variable see in what way we have printed we have written object dot underscore class name double underscore variable name so this is called mangling of name means we cannot access directly with the name as it is instead we need to write some different way to access private data so this is a way of hiding data from the outsiders this is the implementation of feature data hiding and data encapsulation in python we will see more programming uh, when we will actually see uh, the programming examples so in next class we will discuss the problem statement and the program and along with it we will add these features in our program thank you